Well, hello, and welcome back to Horrible Doodles. I had to uh, do this drawing pretty quick because I actually had to work tonight. Um, so I didn't have much of an opportunity. But it ends up being a pretty neat little doodle, in my opinion. And the fact that I was able to doodle it while I was on the phone kind of was nice because I actually do some of my best doodles while I'm on the phone. Must be the mindlessness of it. I'm not sure. But anywho, um, what we are drawing today is a skin blob monster with a kind of like a flower made out of teeth and gums and lips up on its head. It's really pretty. Um, <laughs> I even put in a little armpit hair because this monster is all natural. No uh, shaving off hair to impress anybody here. Um, although it does have really pretty eyelashes I must say. And a nice lip color um, also we've got some big old waggly wavy hands coming off of this guy uh, three of them to be exact and then several little nubby tendrils uh, as well as tons of eyeballs oh and a single ear look at that but yeah I uh I don't know if you've noticed, if you've seen any other of my videos, I do like eyeballs. I like lots of eyeballs. I like weird teeth. I like flappy, bumpy tongues and weird fingers. And I think I, uh, I think I got everything in this picture that I like, except I also like skulls and bones, but, uh, we're just gonna imagine there's a big old pile of bones inside of this thing. It's all goopy and droopy on the outside, but inside, tons of bones. More than one person's worth. Because I think this is an amalgamation of people. Like, uh, I don't know if you've seen the movie Slither, but that creature, this is actually very much reminding me of that creature at the end of that movie. Awesome movie if you haven't seen it. So now we're, we're done with the black and white, the line work. Um, and I was really debating doing blue on this guy, but then I thought, well, I can get some blue up on the, the lips because they're... Uh, not getting much oxygen up there or something and uh, blue on the tongue so we'll get the blue there and we'll just do the rest uh, skin tone because this is kind of a blobby skin creature that is a bunch of different people all fused into one um, and so color it in all skin tony and then I get several other skin tones working in here um, to make all those wrinkles really pop out and get some depth to them. And right now I'm adding in, it's a, it's actually a really pink color, but it looks nice in those folds, kind of makes them, I don't know, seem like they're slightly inflamed. I don't want to say they're yeasty, but that's what I would imagine this creature smells like with all those folds. Kind of a, like a loaf of bread or a batch of beer being made. Only it's coming at you trying to absorb you. So you might go, oh man, something smells like bread and I'm really hungry now. Or boy, something smells like, ah, I knew it would eat you. Anywho, that's how I imagine that would go. 
Although this thing doesn't look like it could really move that fast. It'd have to really sneak up on you, and I don't think that's happening either. Not with, uh, not with the odor. Maybe if you had bad sinuses or something. Anywho, here's a close-up. Get to look at all those lovely waggly fingers and folds. And there we go. That's the end. Thanks for watching, guys.